It's a spring morning, and the Taoists of Zixiao Temple on Mount Wudang are preparing their meals for the day, which are, of course, vegetarian. At this time, after a cold night, the air is warming, and the metabolic rate of the human body is at its fastest. Taoists believe that the life of every human being is closely bound up with nature, and that therefore the body must adapt to every one of nature's changes. During the spring, Taoist monk Yang sows flower seeds. As Taoists aren't concerned by worldly affairs, here, accompanied by plants and flowers, monk Yang can't be certain just how many springs he's passed on the mountain. Aside from the alternation of the seasons, the passage of time makes no difference. In ancient times, before there were hourglasses or clocks, Taoists could only track time by using natural indicators such as the stars, the sun, and the mist. To find out the truths of the world, they had to use all of their sensory organs. Compared with the rest of us, they perhaps developed a deeper sensitivity to the power of the change of seasons. Uh, Kaizo in the songs of the girls picking tea leaves, we can feel the force of life stretching into the future. Spring is a season of great vital force. Life itself can be compared to a great tree, the branches of which go through various changes in the different seasons. These changes can be compared to the transformation of qi and the blood within us. Chunchanohadibenteo很多地方,他实际上是靠打比方来解释天地万物的。比如说这个春子啊,春子在说完解字当中以及市民当中,他都认为说春春也。那么就像那个春呢,就像春子呢,就是有几个小虫子。然后
Jen Wall, the god of Wudang, sowed seeds from a kind of tree that only grows in heaven amongst the mountain ranges of Wudang. And before long, a special plant began to grow in the mountain. Jen Wall then communicated with the locals in their dreams. He told them to put the plant leaves in boiling water and congeal the liquid with grass ash to make jelly. When the leaves ripen in summer, Taoists make their way into the forest to pick them. They believe this will help to stretch the body and ease the mind to achieve the relaxed, free state of the immortals. In the ancient style of writing known as seal script, the component at the top of the Chinese character for summer was once pronounced xie and meant head. In the middle of the character are two hands, and at the bottom are two footprints representing two feet. This pictogram seems to represent the fact that summer is hot and that our head, hands and feet are all exposed. Yi 东西, Every summer, cicadas undergo a transition of life. In the ancient oracle bone script, a kind of writing from at least 3,500 years ago, the character for summer looks similar to that for the cicada. Using the cicada as a symbol of summer suggests that the energy of the universe is going through a fundamental change. 你没有转化好的话,有可能生命会出现极大的变故,甚至在皇帝内经里都会说的,如果没有修,就是没有养生,没有养好的话,甚至到冬至那一天,就会生大病。the Huangdi Neijing compares the summer and winter solstices with the hours of Wuxia 11am to 1pm and Zixia 11pm to 1am. According to the Taiji diagram, they are the points of yang and yin. 那么夏至的这个概念是什么呢? 就叫做夏至一阴生, 所以天地万物之间的生长变化, 为什么会在夏天会突然出现这种类似蝉的这种蝉的这种飞跃性的变化呢? 实际上就在夏至之前, 可以说万物, 都处在生发的一个阶段，所以是开花。然后等夏至这一天开始，一阴生，处在变化的一个集中点上。Towers regard summer as a season of unfolding. After spring, the season of growth, creatures enter a new stage in the life cycle. This is the most appropriate time to enjoy nature and wander freely among mountains and rivers. It's the time to be exposed to the blazing sunshine and let the body spread freely, leaving its meridians unimpeded, just like fish swimming in the water and the lotus swinging in the wind. Summer is the time to burn incense, play the zither, taste fine teas, and discuss the Tao, and feel the vigor and growth of nature's creatures. Ancient Chinese believe that summer governs the heart, and that it is thus essential at this time to lay down all the burdens of the body and mind without limitation. By doing this, one could expect to reap the harvest in autumn. The sweet-scented Osmanthus is in full bloom. The burning heat of summer has passed, and Nanyan Palace is painted red with autumn leaves. Taoists stroll in the courtyard, happy and contented. Having experienced the spring and summer, the mountain now becomes stately. 
古代的秋字写的非常有意思，它就像一个火盆，把虫子全部烧死了。所以你会发现，我们这一年四季的这个关于这种。从汉字上来描述这一年四季啊，它非常有意思。春天是蠢蠢欲动的小虫子，然后夏天是什么呢？是虫子的变化时期。而秋天是什么呢？秋天大火盛嘛，然后呢，哎，把这个虫子烧死。但这种烧死有点类似于涅槃，就是说，你现在虽然死了，但是你为了再生，为了产生再生的能量而出现的。Taoists believe that autumn governs the lungs, and that because at this time the yang element in the universe is decreasing, people's ability to resist illness also declines. During this period, people should guard their mind, halt the release of yang qi, and prevent the invasion of pathogens from outside the body. During autumn, one will experience a wide range of temperatures, so much so that it's as if each day seems to sway between different seasons. Because of this, people can easily catch colds, so the qi of the lungs needs special protection. Everyone knows that when the spring comes, the air is cold and cold. It's a kind of destructive force. The leaves are also falling. So how should we live? We should adapt to it. We should be balanced. We should be balanced. We should be balanced. 要缓和，因为这个时候有一种肃杀之气。从养生这个角度来说呢，你适当的收敛，要收敛，但是呢也不能太过。所以总而言之，秋天一个字叫做养收。While the sweet-scented osmanthus on the slopes of Taizhou spreads their perfume around Mount Wudang. A Solomon seal ripens. The ancient Compendium of Materia Medica tells us the Solomon seal can improve the vital essences, strengthen tendons and bones, fill up the marrow, and turn white hair to black. This being so, Taoist monk Yang always uses Solomon seal in the autumn to prepare a kind of tonic that's been passed down through generations of Wudang Taoists. Medical science has found that Solomon seal has efficacy for diseases such as tuberculosis, ringworm, diseases of the elderly, poor appetite and weight loss, and weak tendons and bones. Taoists further assert that Solomon seal can help one abstain from cereals. The purpose of Taoist knowledge regarding health preservation is to develop the full potential of the human being. Since the beginning of Taoism, its followers have continuously developed measures to synchronize themselves to the rhythms of heaven and earth. Although they had no knowledge of nutrition in the modern sense, they still managed to conceive of the threat of overburdening the body and the consequences of this. Abstaining from cereals is a kind of withdrawal that assists their body to form a harmonious circle. <笑>这些东西是大发子的顺其自然随便任一生啊没有一定的那个他都是随时随他都可以千变万化是吧都十般交条的那个那个办不成 For many years now, Taoist Mud Yang has tried to determine if taking Solomon's seal really does help him to abstain from cereals. The method of preparation varies from person to person. In most situations, Monk Yang removes the secondary roots of the Solomon seal plant, steams it for one day, and then puts it out under the sun for a day. Repeating this nine times, he then dries it using a low flame, grinds it into a powder, and finally mixes it with honey. He now has the tonic that tones qi, nourishes the spirit, and prevents aging. On the modern science, this tree is true. It has at least three effects. The first effect is what? It is called the purification. Human, this body, you see, 
不吃粮食了，那么呢，你这个肠胃当中的那一个，你就给它清除掉了，毒素啊，给它清除掉了。哎，第二个作用呢，叫夺气。什么叫夺气呢？就人在辟谷的状态之下，它靠的是什么？我们古人把它称为是气。这样就激发出人体的自身的那种、那种抗病的能力见素抱朴，少思寡欲。我理解，在今天这个时代中，就是酒啊、茶呀、啊、咖啡呀、啊，各种饮料啊，我们都去尝试。我们这种生活其实都不要放弃，但是一切要适可而止。真正要作为自己恒常饮料的，还是清水一杯。其实人能够守住朴素。然后呢，又能够看清，并且享受当下的这种潮流，我觉得这是当代人的生活方式。The revenge of nature is merciless and cruel, but perhaps the endless disasters of history have been caused by humankind's endless desire. And excessive exploitation of the environment. For thousands of years, Chinese people's resistance to plagues, although difficult, greatly promoted the evolution of Chinese traditional medicine. Today, as has been the case throughout their history, the Taoists of Wudang still employ ancient measures to expel evils and illness. On every New Year's Day, Taoist Mag Yang will prepare, along with the students, a kind of medicinal liquor that has a very long history. It's called. 屠苏，这个屠苏酒啊，最早是华佗给发明的，后来在《孙思邈的《千金方》里面记载了这个屠苏酒。什么叫屠苏呢？它两个意思，这个“屠”啊，就是屠杀的意思，叫屠绝，叫屠绝鬼气。那个“苏”是什么意思啊？“苏”就是复苏。是苏醒的意思，是要复苏人气。屠苏 is also the name of a plant, but some also believe that in ancient times it was a kind of house and that it got its name because the liquor was brewed in such a house. Tusu was linked with two of the greatest physicians in Chinese history. It was invented by Hua Tuo in around the second century. Tusu is made by soaking rhubarb, patacodon root, Sichuan pepper, vicad, attractylodes, rhizome, and cinnamon in alcohol. Since diseases often break out between winter and spring, the famous Tang physician Sun Simiao, who himself had practiced Taoism on Mount Wudang, always gave this medicine to locals in winter. He told them to prepare medicinal liquor and drink it on New Year's Eve. In order to prevent illness, furthermore, Suan also called his house the Tusu Room. Later, drinking Tusu gradually became a tradition on New Year's Day. In seal script, the Chinese character for winter looks like a hunting hammer that's been thrown. In the book Shuo Wen Jiezi, winter is explained as the four seasons are over. But although it is the end of a year, under the snow, new life is sprouting. For example, this flower, if it's cold, it blooms more quickly. 等到最后阴多的时候呢，代表它该枯萎了，啊，它将来化作春泥，又复花去了，下一朵花出现了。所以它在这样的过程里面呢，和代表说每一样东西的一种稳定的状态
，所以宇宙万物都是在某种稳定的状态，所以山河大地啊，更有它的保持长久的道理，就因为它能够合于它那个情况的要求。那我们人来说的话呢，你学老子就发现说，既然发现这种和是一种稳定的状态，人就不要太多的作为。In spring, the lava in its cocoon begins to wriggle, and the cicada starts to sing in celebration of reaching its adult life. In autumn, when the cricket becomes more powerful, we have the maturing of life, and in winter, when insects hibernate. A new cycle of life begins breeding. Do these changes that take place in the natural world in the four seasons have any relationship with the human body in terms of following certain laws? Master Lao Tzu said, "Inaction is a law of nature. Approach life in line with nature's rule that although it never acts, through it all things are done." 无为的一个本来的含义，到到无而无为，就是不要以我的意志去做，不要以我的经验判断去做，把我的意志凌驾在我要做的这个事情之上。在古代说，我一定要按照我的意志强迫这个水往上去、往上流。那么，这样的为，在道家就是反对的。道家所说的无为，万事万物都有它的本性，你顺着它的本性而为。这个就是无为。Ancient people believed that brewing liquor could cure diseases. In fact, the major purpose of brewing liquor in ancient times was to make medicine. Medicinal liquors were prepared by mixing certain ingredients with yeast. After fermentation. The useful elements dissolved out from the ingredients, and these could then be put to good use. A winter has passed, and Taoist monk Yang's Tu Su has been prepared. It's now New Year's Eve, and the Taoists of Mount Wudang are busy cooking. Ancient people believed that by eating meat, people would be brave and fierce, while those who ate grain would be more intelligent and skillful. Leading a simple vegetarian life makes one have a more moderate temperament and have a mind that is at ease. It's also said to make one cleverer. Modern science has found that the intake of proper vegetarian food. Can help the body improve metastasis, relieve pressure on the inner organs, and decrease the risk of cancer and other deadly diseases. In the alternation of the seasons, the mountain becomes vivid and elegant. The universe is like a huge furnace. And nature's law is the great magician, governing all lives, their birth, prosperity, and death. The universe is an integrated whole, vast and mighty. Breeding and molting, beginning and ending, all these take place according to a hidden rule. It is a true state of harmony. It's vast, yet stirs no waves. Drifting around in it is the essential liberty of life. It is truly great, and yet so small.